Hello and welcome me and her after kids. This is part two of I don't know how many parts. It just depends on what I get myself into. We're up here at Paradise on Texoma at Lake Texoma, just west of Pottsboro for the whole week. So let's see what we can get ourselves into. Y'all come go with me. In part one, we went through the camper, showed you what it was about, looked at some gear that I ain't really had a chance to play with that much. And in this part, we're just going to continue on where I left off. We're going to head up to the showers. I'm going to see what those actually look like at this place, if it's going to be worth even showering or may have to just do a sponge bath or something but anyway we're gonna head up there and see what it looks like all right that wasn't too bad of a walk i don't know what that says i don't know if that's male or female let's try try this one over here Okay. Well, hmm. Well, I guess in a pinch, I would just figure that something that's called paradise would be paradise. I hate being that way. Oh, look, they got a dump station. Well, that's good. I guess there were some cabins. I don't know. If you're going to advertise as paradise, then by gosh, I think you ought to be pretty dead gum close to paradise. Anyway, there's the main bathrooms and showers. I think I'm going to head back to camp. Well, that's about it for day two. Her is coming down the road right now, so I'm going to go in and start dinner. It'll be the first time we've cooked in this thing. We're going to make, well, I'm going to make, Sausage, biscuits, oil and gravy, SOS, whatever y'all want to call it. I'm going to go in and see how she runs. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It's day three out here at the lake. It's 45 degrees. The wind's blowing about 30 miles an hour. This camper is really moving. Last night was okay. Uh, the flapping of the pop-up woke me up a couple of times, but that's ex expected. I'm going to run up and take a shower, try to brave this wind. And it looks like it's going to be a good day to just kick back and do some reading, catch up on some books that I've been putting off for a while. I'll get back with you later. Well, that was about as miserable as I thought it was going to be. Run out of water in about 30 seconds. But, at least we got the uh, port parts washed. After all, this is called Paradise on Lake Texoma. I sure hope this ain't Paradise when I get there. Well, that's getting close to the end of day three. The wind's been howling about 40 miles an hour all day. Her is working close to home, so she's going to stay there tonight. So I'm not going to make tacos. I'll save that for tomorrow night. I guess I'm just going to snack. I did get in a nap today. 
I ain't napped in 10 years. I guess that's part of relaxing. I'm not sure, but I don't really like naps. I guess I felt like it was a waste of a day, but what else was I going to do? I didn't get much reading done, but I did get to look on some of the forums about these campers and hooked up to these Dodge trucks. And I found some things I'm going to look at and research tonight, like some more awnings, some, some bathroom enclosures or shower enclosures, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to look at how all that's attached, see if that's an avenue I want to go. But uh, there's only one other person here, so it's kind of been quiet and nice, except for the wind. It's supposed to die down tomorrow sometime. Maybe I can have a fire tomorrow afternoon. We'll see what happens. But other than that, I guess I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. This is day four, Thursday. Shows to be 60 degrees. The wind has died down a little bit. Do have some wind damage. Looks like it's going to be a really nice day. The sun won't be out, but I think I'm going to go do some hiking. But it still looks like there's only one other camper here in this whole campsite, which is perfect. I'm sure there'll be more showing up today or tomorrow. It's supposed to be sunny tomorrow. It's supposed to be in the 70s this weekend. I bet this place is full by the end of the weekend. All right, well, let's go check some trails out. See how good the hiking is here. I'll tell you what's messed up. Is it 61 degrees out here at Texoma? And I'm wearing a coat. But it is a cold 61 with that wind coming off this water. Her's going to get done with work in a little while, and she's going to be here the rest of the day today and all day tomorrow. And I know you haven't seen her much, but she actually does exist. She is not a figment of my imagination. Just a little camera shy, I guess. But she'll be here. I'm saving some of the good walking trails or whatever for her. I'm saving some of the fun stuff. And in the meantime, I'm just out here walking around the shoreline. Just trying to get out of the camper. Started getting a little bit of cabin fever. Because that place is small. But we knew it when we bought it. Me and her live in a tiny house. We sold our big house after the kids all left and built this little tiny house. And we thought that was small. The good thing is, when I get back, that place is going to feel like a mansion. Hey, hell, I'm out here on the lake, out walking around, 61 degree weather, wearing a coat and gloves because that wind is cold coming off that water. Let's go see what else I can find. It's Thursday evening. The wind finally calmed down, sitting outside. And her finally showed up. She is not a figment of my imagination. Got a campfire going. This is what I've been waiting on. It's taken four days to get it, but we're finally there. I think we're going to make some tacos tonight. Maybe tomorrow night, grill out some steaks, have some potatoes. We'll have to see how it all plays out. In the end, this is what it's all about right here. I think I'm going to try to brave that shower one more time tonight, too. I'm not sure yet. I may use those dude wipes instead. Anyway, that's about it for today. I guess I'll see you in the morning.